All right, what is up, fellow people of YouTube? It is Mick here from Reality Tech. And I have something interesting for you guys today that I picked up at the local thrift store. Um, it is a creative webcam. Uh, if you can read that where my thumb is. Uh, see more, share more with a wide-angle video. And it is true high-speed USB 2.0, and it's perfect for broadband. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got this for $5, you can see there, from a local thrift store. Um, never been open. Let's see where the original packing sticker is. The box appears to have suffered some water damage. I don't know if you guys can see the little lines in it. But like I said, I got it for $5, so I thought, what the hey, can't uh, go wrong there. Uh, let's take a look at the back of the box. Um, yeah, it has USB 2.0, and it's designed from Windows XP, as you can see at the bottom there. See the resolution I do believe was on the front. Yeah, it has a 1.3 megapixel resolution camera and it shoots video in 640 by 480 and it has smart face tracking. Um, minimum system requirements. Let me pull these up here so we can read them. Um, Intel Pentium 3 or an AMD Athlon processor running at 700 megahertz. Um, Windows 98. SE, ME, or 2000 or XP, you need 128 megabytes of RAM. Um, 256 or higher is recommended. You need 100 megabytes of disk space, CD-ROM drive, USB 1.1, and a display adapter capable of 16-bit color. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go ahead and start taking this box apart, and we'll see what it comes with. All right, now I went ahead and got the webcam unboxed, which was a little tough because the box was falling apart on me a bit here. But let's go ahead and take a look at what is inside. Um, we have the installation CD with the drivers. Set that back there. I never use those for the most part. Uh, what is this? Looks like uh, some sort of uh, software for uh, photo and video editing. And last but not least, we've got the webcam manual. Let's see if there's anything interesting. Uh, no English. Basically how to install and the directions in Spanish if you need it. The webcam itself now. Um, USB connection. Looks like it's got a built-in microphone on it. I'll bring it a little closer here. It's got a built-in microphone and that is an adjustment knob for focus, so that's pretty cool. And you can either have it like this, put it on a laptop or for a desktop. And this, I'm not sure what this is. Go ahead and try to tell you what I'm going to use. I'm going to use that little knife that came with that crappy lighter. So let's see if I cut myself open or not. Boy, that knife is loose. Did it open? No, it did not. That is on there good. Should be able to tear it from here. Oh, I am strong. Look at that. Go ahead and open up this. I'm not going to just tear into it because, hey, I'm not keeping that bag. What is this? Well, ow! Oh, it came with a little headset as well. This thing has to be high quality. Um, it is a creative headset, and it looks like the little foam... I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see that. Let me try to get this to focus on it. Uh, keep getting it. There we go. Now, the film looks like it's descending or grating a little bit on there. It isn't breaking off. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's been in the packaging for so long. But, yeah, it came with a little headset with the little microphone and uh, headset earphone connectors on it. So, that is everything it came with. Now, what I'm going to try to do now... Yeah, so hook it up to my Windows 8 laptop, um, and we'll see how good of quality this thing really is. So, again, pause in the video, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. It has been probably a half hour of me trying to get this thing to work, and it doesn't. And that is two possibilities. <coughs> One, it just doesn't work good or at all on Windows 8. Or two, it was damaged. I noticed there's water damage on the box. So I'm not going to be able to do a quality test on this. I might try it on my uh, gaming PC, which is Windows 7, and see if that works any better at all. 
But <laughs> other than that, I can't really review any more of this item. Um, but if I can't get it to work with Windows 7, I might be trying some time lapse with it. So we will see. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though the review at the end ended up not working well. Um, but I do appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe for more reality tech videos. So I hope you guys have a great night.